Hi, and welcome again to our five-minute rivet. We continue our uh, our five-minute rivet with uh, today feature is uh, reference plan. A reference plan is a datum element like uh, like uh, grids and uh, levels. Levels they ha they they control the content like uh, for example the the system families as a floor plan, as uh, for example uh, the walls, uh, the roofs. Uh, the grids control the content like uh, structural column and also a reference plan control some elements if we use this tool very wisely because uh, is uh, this feature it's under um, it's uh, underused and because uh, some user they use it only for the for the family editor or the uh, content creation in the family editor but we will see how we can use it as a tool that can control uh, the uh, the content in a uh, rivet let's go here to this elevation south elevation and just simply i go here to architecture here ribbon and i go here to work plan and i i choose the reference plan here okay i draw just simply here a reference plan like that for example okay escape couple of time and always i i tell my student and always always when you place a reference plan, name it, name it. Even we, you will not use the name. I name it here as a ref because when we have a big project, we so many people, they place a lot of reference plan, it starts to be messy. Just keep keep it always, uh, the reference plan in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in a wise way. Just name it when you place it, okay? Now I have my reference plan, okay? Now I will go here to level one and I will draw a wall for example okay I get a wall and I check my option bar there is a stuff that I need okay I need like for a level I wanted to go to level four for example like I can from the option bar here uh, uh, um, place the constraint of the wall or I can go here to um, to my option uh, to my property and they said base constraint from level one and go to up level four okay and i will draw my wall with a simple here a pick line here and i pick here this uh, this column like that okay escape couple of time if we see 3d we have that wall here go to up level three for example i go here in my come back to my floor plan and i go to this uh, elevation okay you see my wall here simply okay i draw it in uh, another side space to bring it to other side okay now if i want to control the height and the, sh the profile of the wall i can use this work plan as a constraint how we will use that okay we select here my reference um, sorry my wall and attach top based here i click here and i will select my here my reference uh, uh, my reference plan okay now i can control here the height and the shape of the wall the same things oh, for example if i go like here a reference plan and i will uh, draw a reference plan here in the bottom of this wall okay escape couple of time i selected i rename it like a, a base for example just a random name okay and uh, i select my wall here and i said attach top based and i go to option bar important here the option bar here i choose base and i attach the base like that and you see now i have a cons constraint from uh from the bottom and from the and here from the top like for example if i want just like here i move i nudge that like that you see i control from here i select here nudge like that you see this is how we use the reference plan to control object in a rivet i hope this video helped you to understand the reference plan